If you're looking for a fun, engaging and easy way to pass the time, then look no further because in this video, we'll be showcasing the top 10 idle games that will keep you entertained for hours on end. From incremental clickers to those idle RPGs, these games will keep you hooked and coming back for more and there's something which you can just open on the side of your screen to have something to do. So sit back, relax and get ready to be entertained as we count down the best idle games on Steam right now. Number 10, Tap Ninja. Tap Ninja is all about destroying your true enemies and earning golden profit as you do so to upgrade your village and become the master ninja. Utilize your katana to slash and slay enemies with combos to earn online and offline gold to buy research upgrades to ascend in power. You can unlock different characters which can be customized with different die colors. Number 9, Idol Slayer. This medieval pixel art title initiates you as a monster slayer who is protecting people from the oncoming darkness. As you start from nothing, you acquire coins and money and status along the way, upgrading your gear and working to unlock the achievements, which sit at over 500 at this point, meaning you'll probably never actually complete this one. This game has an old school retro theme to it that reminds me somewhat of Mega Man and features a questing system on its 6 different procedural zones and maps. Number 8, Idle Skilling. This skiller is designed to only be played 5-10 to 10 minutes a day, so you shouldn't be calling for excuses about not getting anything done, because this isn't designed to be addictive. In this game, you gradually work towards unlocking new skills to the likes of mining, fishing, breeding pets, making potions, crusading and pillaging, lab research and construction, to name a few of its 21 different skills that you can level up as you start out with 3 of them. This game has a very simplistic graphic style but is somewhat quite charming in that regard. Number 7, Adventure Capitalist. For all you investors and businessmen alike, this game is going to be a good one. Adventure Capitalist is all about you becoming a venture capitalist via this interactive adventure, a capitalism simulator which pits you in humble beginnings running a lemonade stand, working up to total financial domination as you snowball your cash and diversify your investments and acquire new investors into your business. The great thing is also the game technically plays itself. Set up your business, do some of the legwork and then enjoy the fruits of your labour through automation by hiring a manager to keep your operation running just like like you would in real life. Hey, perhaps at this point you should focus on creating a real business. Just an idea. Number 6, Swords and Souls Never Seen. This RPG game is all about advancing in skills in order to defeat a dangerous witch and aid the local townsfolk. The game has a bunch of addictive types of minigames that let you advance your character's stats in a fast-paced turn-based fashion. You can hire mercenaries and tame a bunch of pets to use to fight by your side and use a bunch of different weapon types in tow with your passive skills and rings to switch up your play. As you buy equipment, you can then reinvest it into the local museum, go fishing or go shopping. This game is very humorous and it has a pretty fun theme story too. Number 5, Sell to Singularity. This is a non-biased list, but this one has to actually be my personal favourite of all of the idle games in this list. Sell to Singularity is not the most popular, but it's a game all about evolution, starting over 4.5 billion years ago when the solar system was new, taking you through the cycle of life page by page, taking you through meaningful milestones in time from the dinosaurs to caveman discovering fire, and even to the industrial revolution and beyond. You tap to earn the universal entropy currency points which let you spend them to make progress and evolve. There's a mix between 2D segments and fully 3D segments of the game, as is the case of the dinosaur age where you can physically see all of your dinosaurs in their natural habitat. If you love science and learning then this one is the one to play and it even features the ability to later upgrade your tech to eventually survive on and terraform the planet Mars. Elon Musk anyone? Number 4 Melvor Idol. This game is inspired by RuneScape and it's an addictive game with a ton of features. The game has a bunch of different skills that you can scale up and progress through in a very similar fashion to how they work in RuneScape, letting you incrementally advance in the game. Skilling up a single skill will have an overbearing impact on all other skills, with each having their own intrinsic purpose. You can make use of melee combat as well as ranged and magic to eliminate enemies whilst leveling up your woodcutting smithing, cooking and farming skills on the side and then banking your items. 
There's over 40 different pets that you can collect in this game. They're all equally cute and there's no microtransactions, fortunately. Number three, Eidolon MMO. This idol game is an MMO where you create different characters to use in conjunction to work for you online and offline as the game becomes more complex. Each character can be of a different class, with warriors mining ores for archers, to craft staffs for the mages to fight world bosses to progress onto the next worlds. Everything works in conjunction with each other in synergy, whether that made sense or not. The graphics in this game look really cool and the artist has done a really great job on this one. There's over 40 different NPCs that you can take on nearly 140 alternate quests from which involve you killing monsters or helping with menial tasks. The variation in scenery is also in abundance here as they have more than 70 locations spanning from jungles and forests to deserts, the ocean and deep caves. This game was made by one single person so it's really impressive to see the results of a one-man team making such a game. Number two, Leaf Blower Revolution. This game was a meme between a friend and I but I kind of actually enjoyed it as a guilty pleasure of some sort. Somehow this game is actually pretty fun. The only concept here is blow away leaves with powerful leaf blowers that you can upgrade. Thrilling right? You purchase auto blowers and have the choice for active or passive play. There's a selection of different tools to buy in game through purchasing them with coins and ways to progress faster such as buying fruit. To find rare types of leaves you'll need to unlock new areas where you will also face dangerous enemies that can only be defeated with the power of your leaf blower. Crazy times we live in. Number 1 Cookie Clicker This is perhaps the single most popular idol game of all time. I don't think there's many people who play games in some form that haven't played Cookie Clicker and we used to play this thing back in school. Put simply this game is about making cookies. If you wanted to be a baker but you failed then you should just play this. This game is the original classic from way back in 2013 and it lets you collect cookies and spend them to earn more cookies. Using 600 upgrades you can play a ton of mini games and even get a pet dragon. Not that that makes sense at all. But not to mention there's workshop support for mods now on the game over on Steam. If you love achievements then prepare to face the fact that you'll never 100% complete this because there's over 600 of them at this point. Yikes. Also, the same composer that made the music for Minecraft actually made tracks for Cookie Clicker. So since you're probably following this channel for Minecraft mods, you might actually want to go play Cookie Clicker because it has similar music. And that's going to end our countdown for the top 10 idle games on Steam. You can check out the links to download these games in the description down below. Let me know which of your favourite games was on this list and if there's any other cool idle games which you played that I didn't cover in this video. Give it a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.